JP 730 Sports. Seattle moves on. It wasn't pretty. They still have problems uh, that I think will be exposed in Carolina. They still have offensive line problems. Um, you know, Doug Baldwin's performance over the second half of the season, I, I can't see him replicating that against good defenses, and Minnesota showed you that. Um, they need Marshawn Lynch. You know, they still have some issues. And, and late in the games, you know, the defense pretty much will give up the big play to allow the opposing team to win the game. With that being said, though, they made it happen. Um, one great play by Russell Wilson, and, you know, they're moving on now. Should they be moving on? Okay, let's talk about the kick. I'm not a big fan of kickers. Reason being is they have one job. Everybody else on the team has multiple jobs. The kicker has one job. Your job is to put the ball between the uprights when needed. All right? Now, he, Blair Walsh made some big kicks during the game. They don't have the lead. They're not in the game without him. Here's my issue, and I know everybody wants to talk about the laces, okay? And here's my one big problem with the lace excuse whenever you hear it from a kicker. If you watch NFL football, kickers make kicks with the laces pointed in many different directions, including facing them all the time. Blair Walsh made a kick tonight today with the laces facing him. So I don't want to hear about the laces from all the lace people out there talking about it's the holder's fault. Sunday in and Sunday out, kickers make kicks with the laces face left, facing right, facing towards the goalpost, and facing them. They do it all the time. The holder is never going to be able to get the laces facing the goalpost all the time. It just can't happen. All right, the game is too fast. So he still has to make that kick. Mike Zimmer says he still has to make that kick, you know, but he's a kicker, you know. I mean, kickers are funny. I, I don't understand. They have a different mentality, a different psyche. You know, if the grass is too long, everything falls apart. It, it, you know, kickers are just funny like that. He didn't make the kick. Minnesota goes home. Um, I think the Adrian Peterson fumble was big. Um, they pretty much bottled him up. Seattle had Adrian Peterson figured out. Um, basically, all they did was stay in the gaps. They didn't fall for the jump cuts. They didn't fall for the fakes going towards the line of scrimmage. They just let him commit, and they tackled him. And that was basically it. Uh, Bridgewater was, was pretty good. First playoff game. Pretty decent. Um, you know, he had a shot to win the game. Made a couple of big plays there in the end that, that could have won them the game. You know? If the kicker had did his job. But outside of that, I thought it was a, a defensive game, well played. Um, Seattle moves on to Carolina. They're going to have some problems. Um, Seattle still has issues up front. And hopefully Marshawn Lynch is, is, is healthy enough to play so they control the line of the scrimmage with the run game, hopefully. Um, Christian Michael, yeah. I mean, he's just a good back. He's okay. You know, we've been talking about this guy since college, waiting for him to become a star. He's just a decent running back. So they need Marshawn Lynch. Um, outside of that, though, pretty good game. Cold out there. For all the smart betters out there that took Minnesota plus the six points, like I did, great job. For all you other people who just ride a bandwagon and feel like Seattle can't be beat, and you chose Seattle, well, you lost your money. That's what happens. JP, 730 Sports. I'm out.